Hey everybody, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Wendy Williams. Over the weekend on the Lifetime Network, they aired the Where's Wendy Williams documentary, a two-part series. And all I can say to y'all is OMG. If you did not have the opportunity to watch it, I'm going to say to you, it's a sad but important good watch to see. Why? Because it was almost bigger than Wendy Williams. It touched on indirectly this whole broken system when it comes to guardianship, when it probably comes to power attorney, when it comes to having a conservator over your life. Now, it's one thing when said conservator is a family member and we see no matter how this thing goes because we see with britney spears she didn't like the way in the tight rings that were around her when her god her father was her guardian so to speak her conservator but we now also see a flip side when a court appoints a perfect stranger as in wendy williams case to be over you how they're disconnected, don't care, don't have the person's best interest at heart. All they care about is doing a job and could care less whether they do that job well or not because it doesn't impact them. At the end of the day, they're always going to get their check. So we see um, pretty much or we hear pretty much how Wendy Williams was snatched from her family, put under the guardianship of a perfect stranger, and some other vultures that were around her to just snatch up her money. The saddest, there was so many sad parts in this for me. A sad but heartfelt part was between her and Angela White. Black China. I found a newfound love for Black China because of that piece in that documentary. Another sad part, and I can name a bunch of them, but another sad part is when her son met up with her to have lunch. You can tell that mother-son bond is unbreakable. And even through all of Wendy Williams' um, um, illness and unawareness, unawareness, that love is palpable. You can tell it's still there between her and her son. But what broke my heart even more is when Wendy turned to her own brother, Tommy, called him Kevin, not a son Kevin, thinking he was Kevin Sr. and said, thank you for being here. You know, Wendy Williams had so much trauma, but I think her trauma started in her childhood. And sometimes people have trauma in their childhood <clears throat> and as they go throughout their life, maybe the trauma kind of lessens so it can balance out the two worlds. Had a rough childhood, but my life as an adult, is overriding that roughness. So, it, 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 you know, you know, I'm good. But when you have trauma in your childhood and then more trauma in your adulthood, you're unbalanced. And at some point, the unbalanced, depending upon how far it keeps coming apart, it's going to break you. And I feel like that's what happened to Wendy Williams. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. share screen. I want to say who is it? Jasmine Brand got a, a clip of this um, scene that I was referring to, which is so sad. Really? Really? 
Yes. I know you are. I know you are. I couldn't wait to see you. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? Really? Yes. I know you are. I know you are. I couldn't wait to see you. Do you see how her dad's face is so heartbroken? They said her mom also knew before the mom passed that something wasn't right with Wendy. During the documentary, they showed several scenes where, well, a few, where Wendy Williams, when she was still working on a Wendy Williams show, how she would just black out, like lose memory. And between Norman and some others, they were a reminder of who she was speaking of or thinking about. In the middle of an interview with Barbara Cochran, it's just like she went off on a deep end and started talking about cats. Sad to watch, sad to see. And unfortunately, because the networks made so much money, well, they make money off of all these people. It's not just Wendy Williams. They make money off of all the talent. Or else the talent wouldn't be on their show, right? The talent wouldn't be on the screen if they wasn't making money off of them. You know, shows get canceled all the time because people stop watching. So they was making so much money off of Wendy Williams, although they saw her declining. So she got failed by many people. Although they saw, saw her declining, they would rather keep propping her up. You know, when we first was missing Wendy and was wondering where she was because she was no longer in the limelight, people was like, where's Wendy? And then someone joked and said, you know, they're propping her up like that uh, movie Weekend at Bernie's. They kept propping Wendy up, turning on that camera for a talk show, knowing she wasn't well then. Had perhaps Wendy got help way before she really declined significantly, the outcome would be a little bit different and a little bit better. It was heart-wrenching seeing her condo in this documentary just be in disarray. It was heart-wrenching watching people talk to her all kind of sideways, knowing that she wasn't physically well. And was she being mean? Mm. She was, but a lot of people, when they have said diagnosis, and I don't know Wendy, we didn't get an insight into Wendy before um, this diagnosis and the way she is now. So she could have perhaps always been real nasty and mean. And let's be clear, I seen her snap at Norman on TV. I seen her snap at Suzanne on TV. So maybe it was just her and it's just worse now that she's going through what she's going through. But at the very least, these individuals that were in her life at the time of the documentary, they definitely knew she had a situation and some of them was being so nasty, so rude, and so mean. Her niece, she's a sharp cookie. Her niece was on it. I missed a lot of stuff. It went over my head, over my head. I didn't know. So I could, I could understand how Wendy was confused. I didn't know who was good from who was bad last night unless it was blaring in my face. And Will Selby was blaring in my face. I wonder how he feels now as he sees or saw the documentary air. I wonder what his thoughts and feelings are. Anyway, guys, you know what? I can check. I don't think he said anything on his Instagram. Let me check real quick before we um, depart, before I close this out. If I could find his... Um, let me see if I could find his... Um, his um, I can't find it. I'll find it another time. And, you know, maybe we'll talk about it on hot topics or whatever the case may be. But I do wonder, like, what is his thoughts? How does he feel that he's looking in this whole situation? It's horrible. And I feel the way he talked to her and spoke to her, knowing that she wasn't well. And then what I well, want to say this too, that scene that I just showed you where she called her brother Tommy, Kevin, um, they brought alcohol to the table, like the waitress. I don't know. See, here's the thing, because, you know, production is shady. I don't know if it was production. I don't know if someone at the table ordered it. I don't know what it was. But anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. And everybody, thanks for watching. I also will say this. I do think, too, that... Um, what was I going to say? That the trauma 
of losing Kevin for Wendy Williams was more than she can take. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.